Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Time left from this morning, gray skies. We'd see occasional showers passing through from time to time. Now we just have lots of clouds. Uh, there's a light rain and drizzle here in Portsmouth at the moment. Uh, in some locations, it's coming down pretty good. So let's have a look right now, mostly along the coast here. That's where most of the rain is. We got some very heavy downpours along the Albemarle Sound. And this is to the southeast and south of Hertford. So that's moving in that direction. Probably going to get there and eventually to Elizabeth City in the next half hour to 45 minutes. Lighter rain around Manio, Southern Shores, Kerala, Elizabeth City. Some moderate rain and then light rain around Ahoski. Lighter than this morning. It was very heavy there earlier. So again, we've got that flood warning for Currituck County to 430. Some light rain falling there still. The rain, you know, soaking into the ground and well, it's just going to be tough for that water to go down since there's light rain still falling. Might take a little longer, but the, four, the warning goes till 4:30. Uh, Blackwater, Dolly Corners, up to Sandbridge, we've got some reports of flooding there as well, and then light rain in the north end of Virginia Beach, and then this goes back uh, Portsmouth. You see some also parts of Chesapeake. This is uh, east of Grassfield there, and then it goes up into the Norfolk Naval Base, and some more rain for Suffolk, Isle of Wight County, Franklin. And that runs right through Smithfield, right up to the peninsula. Some more rain, Newport News, Pocosin up to Williamsburg. And then Gloucester County, Matthews County, Middlesex. The whole middle peninsula, a lot of the eastern shore, a lot of the northern neck. We've got light rain showers falling very steady, and it continues for a little while longer. Stationary front still here and still causing that, but I think by tomorrow it's going to start falling apart. The upper level energy off to our west should start weakening a little bit, and so we're still going to have a chance for rain in the short term, and hopefully by tomorrow we can maybe take the chance down a little. But right now, till 3 p.m., yeah, lots of rain, mostly light, pockets of heavy rain mixing in. 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock, well, we'll see some gaps in the rain. Hopefully that gap will get in here in the metro just in time for the evening commute. We'll see. And then overnight, we'll get a few showers coming up from the south. Now, tomorrow, models kind of backed off in the rain a little bit. It had widespread rain for a long time. Uh, I'm a little dubious to go into this just yet that uh, we're going to see a lot of clearing, but I got a feeling we're going to get some at least scattered showers tomorrow morning and, and during the afternoon. I think our model is just uh, a little too dry, and then it does bring the rain in around 8 o'clock. So we'll have that updated version for you at 4 p.m. Wave News 10 at 4 p.m. Right now, temperatures are in the mid to upper 70s. We have lots of clouds, some light rain falling. Today, high temperatures, upper 70s in Melfa, eh, near 80 degrees, Virginia Beach, Norfolk. I think a lot of us will be in the upper 70s to low 80s. Periods of rain, it's going to be heavy at times in places. And we got that southeast breeze again, 10 to 20 miles an hour, some gust up to about 25 miles an hour. Now, tomorrow, lots of rain, temperatures in the low 80s. Uh, we're going to see. Uh, I got an 80% chance of rain. Maybe we can knock it down 60, 70. Let's hope. And then Thursday, Friday, the chances drop even more. 40% chance for showers. The sun's going to pop out Thursday, Friday, and over the weekend. But there's still at least a chance of rain for those days. And we'll have an update on that part of the forecast as well. Wave News 10 at 4 p.m.